One of the reasons we use CAD now instead of the drawing board is that the software can automatically create repetitive line work for us. The array command is one such command. Given one object or set of objects, it can create those objects in a grid of your defining. Let's open up the array example file. In this example, we want to create a conference room display filled with chairs that are evenly spaced in rows and columns. We want to make sure that we can fit them in the space available. We could create construction lines for the spacing and then copy the chair over and over again. It wouldn't be that difficult to do in this case, but we can do it even faster with the array command. So type in the word array, A-R-R-A-Y, to start the command. Or you can just use A-R. It's also found in the Modify panel on the ribbon right here. Now there are three types of arrays. We'll look at each one in a different section. But they all work in a very similar way and use the same type of interface. Pick Rectangular Array. As the name sounds, it's going to create an array in a rectangular shape. Here's our conference room, and we want to create these chairs. Now, if you started the command through the ribbon, you tell AutoCAD exactly what type of array it is. But if you type the command in, you will select your objects first, press Enter, and then tell it that it's going to be a rectangular, path, or polar array. In this case, we want rectangular. AutoCAD will automatically generate a quick grid array for you. Now you can change things right on the fly. You can leave it the way it is, or you can grab some of these grips and make it bigger. Extend it out. Add more rows or columns and alter the separation distance between each one. Right on the fly, right like that. Once you're completed, just press Enter. And just like that, with a few quick clicks, you created a whole bunch of chairs all at one time. Now these arrays are associative. That means they work together in one block. So that I can come back here and make quick changes to it later on. We can say, you know, maybe the client says, no, we want fewer chairs or more chairs. When you select the array, you get a contextual ribbon tab. That's a special type of ribbon tab. It only comes up in the proper context. Thus, in this case, it's selecting an array. When you select an array, you get all of the options that you need right up here to change it. Some things you can't change, though, is like the type but this tells you that it is a rectangular type of an array. Here it tells you how many columns and their spacing, the rows and its spacing, and the different levels. This is an AutoCAD, not an AutoCAD LT. The different levels adds a three-dimensional space to it. If I type in three, and then we go and take a look here, once I completed the command, You can see that it's drawn three different levels. And I can change that on the fly to however many I want. But in this case, we only want one. Now, you can't do that in AutoCAD LT because it's only two dimensional, but everything else is the same. So we select it. We can change the number of columns to eight and we can define the spacing to be whatever it needs to be. We can make this six rows, and we can change it again so they are equally distant. Now, since we've selected the array, we have different grip edits available to us. We can pick Move, and we can move them all as a whole. We can grab this grip and change the distance between columns. This one will change the distance between rows, and this one will change the number of rows. And this is the number of columns. Or we can go with a different total column spacing, or even change the axis of it. It kind of shifts it. So you can create an array very quickly, and you can edit it just as quickly.